Today's Angry Cricket episode is made possible through the support of Michael Loftus and dozens of people just like you on Patreon. If you're interested in exploring the tools I use or supporting the videos that I make or hanging out with a group of weirdos involved here, check out the links below in the description and see what you can figure out. Thanks. Hi there guys, welcome to The Bench. Today it's back for episode 5 on the electronics series where we're doing the Velleman electronic kit. It uh, This is one of the Velleman kits which we've been doing a whole run of. This is the Mark 104. Um, or does it say what it is? It's the Electronic Cricket. And we have our standard two pages of instructions to figure out and everything comes out of there. So either we get it out of that or we don't get it at all. And it looks really simple. It looks really simple. I think, I think we're going to knock this out in no time. And I'm hoping to because this is, this is me getting comfortable with skills and sharing that with you. If you're new to the Electronic Series, most of the stuff I do is very, very educational. Well, I try to be, at least. Um, and it's, it's focused on science and technology and education stuff for me teaching you stuff. In this series, it's me learning stuff because I don't know shit about electronics. And I'm learning. And some really cool viewers, guys like Avitech and that, have sent in um, various tools and bits and stuff for me to learn about how to use. And um, some very serious study materials. I, I've got books for days, and my bathroom reading has been all about electronics for the past month. So this is the parts that we've got. Now let's see how many of these we can identify. We know that's an electrolytic capacitor, and what's it rated for? This is a 100 microfarad, 35 volt electrolytic capacitor and the minus stripes down the side, and the fact that it's the shorter lead tells us that's the cathode. So we'll set that aside. We've got some little trim pots, which are pretty cool. These are um, basically they're variable resistors set up. Usually, given that there's that third pin on there, that's probably a center tap. So those are set up. You can use them for like voltage dividers and stuff. We've got a little transistor. That's what those look like. The little cylinder with the truncated side. So we got a transistor. I don't know what kind yet. This is a chip socket, which is cool. I love chip sockets. I like, I like installing socketed chips. We got a couple little bolts here and a couple little screws and some nuts and some standoffs. Another, another capacitor. What size are you? One microfarad at 50 volts, one mic. That's neat. That's tiny. Um, and we've got this thing. This is cool looking. That is a variable resistor that's controlled by light. It's a, a photocell. I think this might be what's called a CDS photocell. Like it's made of cadmium sulfide, but I think that's a CDS photocell. But that's, that's an, when, when I was a kid, we used to call these an electric eye. And we'll set that aside. We'll get rid of all that extra hardware there. All right, so now we're down to a couple diodes. Now, I've been told these are frequently called steering diodes. Um, now we've got a couple small capacitors. What size? That's a 104. So I'm going to say 104 microfarads. And this one is, oh, they're both 104s. Okay, so that's what we got to start with. And then we've got our fabulous circuit board. We have a stack of resistors here that are all the same size. I think I've got that backwards. So that's our resistor stack. And those resistors are Red, red, red with a, I'm going to say that's gold on the end there. So three reds is 2,200. Is that right? I think that's 2,200. I could be wrong. We'll figure it out as we go. 
All right, let's grab our instructions here and see where we begin. First thing we do, it always starts with the resistors. They're really big on, oh, hey, let's fire up our soldering iron. All right, they're really big on the resistors. Also, I have the coolest new toy. I don't know who sent, oh, wait, yeah, I do. Elizabeth got me this. This is so fucking cool. This thing, I'll, we're gonna do a video just on this. It's that cool. But I got this in. This is my YYT3 cutting and bending tool made in Taiwan. And I don't think they've changed this since 1975. This is just the most epic, awesome tool ever. So we're gonna play with that. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna get our resistors in place. Now I was taught by a combination of Sparky and Big Clive to just cut my resistors off right off the thing like that and these are all the same so there's no no danger and that if I do this they'll just I won't bend stuff right to shit oh we got some other parts on there we got a, a battery holder and a piezo speaker and a chip and the chip is a 53 CLCOK E4 that's a CD4093 Bravo Echo so we'll have to figure out what that is some of you are googling this right now I also got a couple other little tools just over Christmas um, that we'll be experimenting with I got a, a tip tinner I don't really know what this is but I think I just dip a hot soldering iron in it and I got a, uh, a squeezy straightener pin straightener thing that may or may not fit my chip we'll see we're gonna try it so I'm gonna just bend these down and then take a look at my board ah there's our one okay that's our one now this tool is supposed to bend and fold um, the leads as I put it in. So we're going to put that right down there. Oh shit! It shoots them right the fuck off. Oh, that's going to suck. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta hold on to that because there's carpet in here. Oh my god, that's okay. It's good. It's really good, but it's not a hundred percent. Oh shit, okay. And I took my nifty little pliers that Avatech got me and I put them downstairs because I was using them in the robot video. So I'm gonna use these big ass Kleins? Nipex, those are Nipex. All right, so we're learning things right off the bat. We're learning things. All right, so I'm gonna clamp that in place for a moment with those. Now let's try out our tip tinner from Thermaltronics. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's hard. I was expecting goop like a paste. All right, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. That's neat. I like it clean it off in the thing that's not so bad all right let's grab a line of solder here solder our first part of the new year I didn't put flux on that I should put flux on that get my flux pen whoa flux everywhere okay well you're just fucking eager aren't you oh that's much better look at that like a fucking boss how far we've come all right so let's try resistor two we managed to survive getting our, the shit's just dripping off the board hot dripping solder adventure all right let's OK, 
Okay, that's our two. Let's see if our tool works as well a second time. The trick, okay, so I gotta, I gotta clip this in place when I do this because I gotta be able to catch the things when they come off. I love this tool. That didn't sound right. Yeah, that made a weird sound. All right. Still, it's on there. I can solder it. I can make it work. It's not bent over the way it should be, um, but it'll do. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, those are looking good. Those are super good. All right. Now, R3 is way up here. That's on. A little clamp. Spin it around. Grab that. Oh God, this is the coolest thing ever. It's, it, this is, this is the Hitachi magic wand of electronics. They, they made this thing in like 1975 and it was just good. And they're like, we're never gonna change this. It's just good. We're, we're there. We've achieved the pinnacle of the art. That could be better. When in doubt, flux. Look at that, that's better. It's, yeah. I get my little yeah, okay. Ah, it's starting to look like something. Feels good to be back at the electronics bench. I haven't been here for a while. But I got 20 robot videos made. So I'm pretty jazzed about that. See the trick to this tool? You must not hesitate. Just get in there and chow. Little flex. I like my flux pen. It makes me happy. Clean. Polished and well tinned tip is a way of life for the solder ninjas. Okay, there's our first four. We only got one left. Goes up here. R5. Apply a clamp. So I'm curious, by all means, comment. What do you think of my progression so far in electronics and in, in making these things? Am I doing all right? Are you, do you approve? How do I compare to when you started out? Because I don't really have anything to used as a metric for my progress because I've never taught electronics before. And all the other guys on YouTube are making electronics videos. They already know what the fuck they're talking about. Whereas I'm just like figuring shit out. 
All right, so that's all our R1 through R5. Next is our LDR is what they call this. This is an LDR04. Now I learned this as a CDS photocell from the little like 201 electronics kits, but they call this an LDR. So it goes on the LDR spot on the board, which is over here. It doesn't appear to have polarity. Gonna run that right, right the way down. Okay. Okay. That didn't appear to fold over the way I want it to, so I'm gonna manually. Bend those a little bit. There, there we're good. Okay. Oh, flux. I always forget flux. I am the worst with flux. I wonder how much flux I actually have to use. Like, do I need to flux every joint? If I just wipe it all over the board when I first start, is that good enough? How's that look to you? Is that all right? It's good to me. I was on there a long time. I was I was concerned. Okay, so the next is the two diodes, which are both 1N4148 diodes, so they are the same, So, which is good because I don't know how the hell to tell one from the other. Um, where do our diodes go? It's annoying where you know you're looking at it. Where the f Okay, there's D1 is over here. Where's D2? Oh, over here. Okay, D1, D2. All right. And we can see our little black stripe. So we know our stripe goes this way. So we'll just fold that over, drop it in here. And we know right how that's supposed to go because the board, the schematic, such as it is, Velleman, your schematics, not so much. But the board, the schematic, and the part itself tells us which way it should be oriented. I like that. Oh, I can't get that in there. That's terrible. I'm just going to leave those high for now. Solder them. We'll clamp it down. We'll solder them. And then I'll trim it as a subsequent step. Because this one's way close to the edge, so it's kind of fucky to get in there. Just jam it in and hope for the best. That, that looks like absolute dog shit. Yeah, I might come and clean that up later. That's uh, all right. Not my best work. I'm not proud of it, but I did it. That pretty much describes my entire dating life through most of high school. All right, so our black stripe goes the right direction. We got that. Tie your mother down, flip it over. At least this one we can get to. Now 
Now we're back on the part. All right, low flux. Clean my tip up a little there. See if that helps. Wow, that's that's way better. Okay. I don't know if it's the flux or cleaning the tip or retinning. Like how often do you have to retin your tip? Apparently it's not just the ones. That's that's a thing to do with some regularity. Setting my tip tinner over there. I like that. All right, that's our diodes. Step four, IC socket. All right, now we're into some serious fucking shit. So we look at our IC socket and we can see that there's a little notch. So we're gonna bring that around. And my pins are all over the fucking place. Let's try our pin straightener and see if that helps. That definitely helped. Okay, we got our notch on the right way. Oh, I got that one pin that goes off this way. Okay. Go in your fucking hole. Oh, we got one pin out here. There we go. Okay, so we're in the hole. That's good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using a little tweezer clamp system. That really no, that won't work. Fuck. Okay, so we're gonna just push this over. Out on that corner, and then at the opposite corner. Fuck yeah, boy! All right, look at that shit. That's fucking cool. All right, let's solder the shit out of this. So, first thing we do, we're gonna come in and just strafing run flux. Just flux. Flux. Okay. All the flux. I just, I, I have all the flux to give. Now, my tip is shiny and clean, reasonably. I think it might. I think I could do better. Let's try that. I like this tip dinner shit, man. Oh my God, this is cool. All right, so we'll hit this end. Okay, and then we'll go over to this end. And we'll go off this side. And we'll go down here. And that's just our tack welding it. Now, those two are joined. We got a solder bridge. And that's not fucking okay. Let's get that solder bridge out of there. So I'm gonna grab my little solder wick. I don't know if those are supposed to be joined or not, but let's, let's get it clean enough where we can tell if those are supposed to be joined or not. I think not. I think they're supposed to be joined. I think those are bridged, like intentionally. I think those are bridged. Like these two are bridged. Okay, that looks actually really nice. I need more solder back here. That looks fucking textbook to me. I'm calling it good. Yeah. 
All right, I'm calling that good. Okay, so next is the transistor, which is a Bravo Charlie 547. And, and where the hell does it go? Ah, right there, T1. So for transistors, I learned to spread the leads a little bit, push the middle back, and then when you put it in the board, you get the side leads first and then the back. And they should actually stand up a little bit. It should hang out a little high from the board. Okay, that's clean. Now let's make it sticky. Clean our tip, grab our solder. Boom. That's lovely. All right, we got a transistor on there. And next is our two little capacitors, which are both uh, which are both 100 nanofarad, 104. So this is I don't know. They're they're labeled 100 nano. They're they're labeled 100. Well, they're labeled 104, but they tell me they're 100 nanofarad according to the book. So you got to teach me how to read capacitors that only have one number on them because how the hell am I supposed to know that? Like, just what the fuck? Oh, it's so cool. Okay, a little flux. Cool, we got a cap on there. Where's my other one? Way over here. Oh, this is going to suck. It's really hard to do them when you're right up next to the thing. But I'll do the best that I possibly can for you. Because I care. And because you're a bunch of judgmental motherfuckers. So this I'm going to do my old school way. I'm just going to bend them way out. And I'm going to get some quality flux work in there. Come in at this screwy angle, clean my tip. Okay, I got that one. That actually came out really nice. Let's see how clean I can make it. So my cutter is good. Good. Yeah. That's not bad. It's starting to look like something here. All right, now two more caps. C3 is our one microfarad, and C4 is our 100 microfarad. So I think this is our one mic. Yep, one mic, C3. Now these are polarized. So C3 is down here. Plus will be the lead with more on it. So we'll drop that in. Anode is the long lead. Cathode is the short. Also, they put a really big ass stripe right down the side so you can tell that's our cathode. Oh, flux, flux!
That looks good. Do you concur? Okay. That was C3. Where's C4? C4 is over here. Okay, and I can see that's the plus. So it goes in like that. That one will get trimmed manually later. Come in with these, trim that, and we're done with capacitors. Next is trim pots, and we have two different sizes, 47 and 470, and please tell me it's written on the damn thing somewhere that I can see it. Ah, right there, right on top in big, bold letters. 500, 500, 50, and 50? 50, okay, so those are 50s, and those are 500s. Put the 500s on top because they're bigger. All right, so RV1 is a 50. RV1 is over here, and that's a 50. And it's also going to be kind of a pain to hold. Can I bend it over and do that? Because it's got really thick leads. Urgh. Just force that bitch over. Those two go to the same place anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, it'll hang good enough by that. All right, let's get that fucking thing in there. Cool. Good. Good. Oh, solder bridge. Solder bridge. Okay, that's good. And that's called RV1. So now let's do RV2, which is 470. So we're going to grab a 500K because ah, it's close enough. And that's what they sent us. So RV2 is over on the other side. Crowded in here with this capacitor. Okay. Fold down, fold up a little bit, that'll do. Mother fluxer. This stuff either comes out at a flood or not at all. It's really, there's no rhyme or reason to that shit at all. Okay.
Okay. That looks good. I like it. And now three is 47K. And down here, we got, we can see Focus, you fuck. 50K. All right. And we're way off on the edge, so this is kind of a bitch. We can do it. I believe in your kid. Fold that over to the out. And I'm going to mount... Okay, I've been over two of them, and that, that held pretty good. Okay. Too much shit on there. All right, there we go. Good. Good. Oh, that's tight, but we got it. Whew, and I'm gonna slide the whole thing out a bit to get this one because it'll be easier to reach. RV4 is 470 and we look here and that's 500, so we know we're good. Drop that in. And then fold the little fuckers over. Get in there. Get the fuck in there. Ah! You bitch! Okay, cool. And I'm going to fold this one over. I like it better if I can fold them in opposite directions, but this one's going to go right over that trace, and that goes somewhere different, so I'm just going to leave it down. There you go. I try to be cognizant of where we're working so that you guys can see what the fuck I'm doing because that's kind of the point of the whole video. But sometimes I just get so excited. I, I just I get all worked up. It happens so fast. All right. Clean the schmoo off my tip. It's so good. It's so fucking good. It's like electronics pornography happening here. All right, so that's all of the little bits. Now we got to plug our chip in, which is cool. Goes in that way. Now I get to I get to use this for real with a real chip. Does it work? I have straightened my my. Oh. Fuck, this is cool. This is so cool. And they all line up just perfectly. Look at that. Boop, and our chip's in, and all of our pins are in, and I like it. Gets me hot. All right, next is step 10, the piezo speaker. Uh, which we got to mount with standoffs and shit, and it goes on the component side. So this is where we're getting into our two standoffs and our two bolts. Okay, so bolt, oh wow. Could have given us a washer for that, Velleman. Could have used a washer for that, Velleman. The fuck didn't you give us a washer, Velleman? You Dicks, that wants a washer. All right, so we're gonna do this one side at a time because shit's just gonna fall out, I'm pretty sure. Um, so just thing, stand off, top. Where do we solder the fucking thing to? 
Any ideas, guys? Where's that solder to? Because I don't want to LS plus minus. Looks like it goes off to the corner. LS TV one. Okay, so LS plus minus is absolutely here. It's going to be those two, and that's red. So we can do that. And this is going to mount like that and solder in there. And I can mount it on the standoffs and still get it in. So we're going to be okay. We'll mount it and then solder it. You just, I, I try whenever I can to think a step ahead. Like, can I, can I bolt this down and then still be able to solder it? And we'll screw this in. Just make it a little less fucky. Okay. It's still pretty fucky. So we bring this in here. And run that through. And then bring this through. And then get our other little microscopic nut. Oh, you dick! Alright, get the fuck in there. Okay. Okay, and then here. All right, that appears to be reasonably, rigidly mounted. I'm gonna grab a pair of needle nose and we're gonna tighten those down a little bit because they're, they're pretty loose at the moment. We get engaged here. No, it's way more better. Okay. Burp. Now, that's all down nice and snug. It looks like a device. All right. Now we've got our red and black, so we just got to cut and strip this. That's not too bad. Let's get this out where we want it. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit. Cut this. And our black's gonna be similar. So we'll cut that off. And what do I have to start? I don't, I really want to get another pair of those alligator strippers because I really loved those. Oh, shit. Shit! All right, I just cut it off twice. I'm going to have to go to the worst means of wire stripping, but I don't have anything else that'll strip wire this tiny and short. <sighs> Denizens of YouTube, please forgive me for what I'm about to do. Sure, you can talk to me. What's up? Hey, so, like this whole electronic series, I'm sure I'll geek out over one of them. Fuck that's hot! Okay, what? Are you, are you starting some affiliate links? Affiliate links? Amazon affiliate? I've never done it. I don't even know how. Yeah, I think it might be worth doing because, let's say for me, like I, I'm not going to give any more, let's say, but... Well, teach me how to do Amazon affiliate links, but I'm, I don't, is there any reason I wouldn't want to do Amazon affiliate links? Is there a downside to it? Well, let's 
see if anybody, you know, talked about it in the chapel or whatever. But um, I don't see a downside of it because you can't take advantage of YouTube advertise money because of your content. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's definitely going to come through Patreon and then your sales. So it's like, you know, right now you have averaging 400 views on Chris's robot. Let's say you sell one robot, he hooks you up with 100 bucks. And it's like, you might sell two robots for your videos throughout the year. I don't, I don't do it for the sales, but okay. Well, no, you're doing it for income, right? Well, I, yeah, I do do YouTube like, it's my job, and I'm just starting to learn. I'm not only just starting to learn how to do this and make a living at it, I'm just starting to learn that I actually have to make a living at it. Like, I've never, up until this past year, I've never done videos with the intention of, oh, yeah, I got to make a buck while I do this. The videos were just, a, a, it's what I love to do. I love to teach people about science and engineering. And. I, Oh God! I wish I could have an editor. Yeah, I feel you. Maybe you could get your camera. Maybe turn this into a three-camera shoot or something. But, but yeah, this so this one is a three-camera shoot at the moment. Oh cool. But yeah, I'm just looking out for you, just thinking like, oh yeah, how can I give back to Chris? And it's like, oh, what tool is that? How much is that tool? All right. And, you know, if it points me to Amazon, then whatever kickback you get, it's like shit. How that residual come in? Well, this happened, and that will happen. So can you please send me some info on how to have an Amazon affiliate link? Like, yeah, I'll, look, I'll look for a video, like a all right. Video. Yeah, teach me about it. I'll give it a shot. Like, as long as it doesn't alienate my viewers, because that's the number one thing I care about. I do that well enough on my own. And as long as it doesn't like piss people off and fuck up my show, I'll give it a shot. I'm like, Amazon affiliate links are great. Yeah. I need to learn how to do this. And I, I put no effort into it. If okay. I put more effort into it, I'm sure I could do better. All right. I need to. I need to learn how. All right. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, look it up and, and send you a link. Teach me, cause I got I got some cool shit that like people want to know about, like like these. If you're into electronics, these are fucking cool. Oh my god. Well, that's super cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, yeah, I'll hit you up later. Thank you, sir. All right, now we got to put our battery terminals on here, which I think are down here at the bottom of the board. So I'm going to slide this in. All right, bring that right on in there. Okay, and our board is reasonably engaged. Get it to where you guys can see. Yep. It's not labeled battery, it just says red plus, minus. Okay, well, that's probably where I want to be. And the battery mounts on the back, so this has to do a weird loop around bullshit. But I can make that work. So comment in the chat. I want to know what you guys think of me doing affiliate links, like Amazon affiliate links. And understand this would not be through like sponsors and shit. Any affiliate links would only be for shit that I personally actually use. I'm not, I've already had people contact me about doing uh sponsorship of stuff that I don't believe in. And I told them to get fucked. Sima wanted me to do, uh, they wanted to sponsor videos for me to do on their quads. And I'm like, are you fucking high? Your guys make garbage. But if it's stuff that I, I personally researched and used and love, like if Milwaukee wants to sponsor my videos, I'm there. Bellamy could, but like, just so anybody knows, if you sponsor my videos and you make shitty products, I'm going to, destroy you online like because I, I don't give a fuck <laughs> I will tell the world that your shit sucks how the fuck even do you I 
I don't even know how this mounts. I've got two little screws left. Those are the only parts I got left. And I think this screws to the board, but Velamin, what the fuck? Okay, that's how it goes. Ah, come out of there. Let's just set that aside. Is that how I'm supposed to see that? That's not how it looks like it wants to go, but that's what the instructions say. So if that's what the instructions say, I'm I'm a good boy and I will follow the instructions. We only get two out of three, but we're not dealing with aerospace shit here. This is a, a low rent little kids electronics kit. So I'll do what it says. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. All right, and we're gonna need a way bigger screwdriver. That's like a big ass number two. And then I gotta line that fucking thing up. All right, that's in there. Good enough. I wanna get them both in. Like we've learned with the robot, boltment rules apply. All right. I should put that on a t-shirt. I think we're just about done, guys. All right, that's in there. That's in there. All right, we made a fucking thing. We made the angry cricket. Let's see if it works. I even planned ahead and got a battery. Needs more blinking light. It sounds like it's trying to start playing Sandstorm. Somebody needs to sample this. All right, so A is RV1, which is tone. So that's this. Intergalactic planet. <laughs> All right, RV2 is modulation. I like it. All right, this is rep, rep. Okay, and this is light. It's got a light sensor on it. All right, how do we, what the fuck does a light sensor do? Let's shine a light on it. All right, first let's, let's black it out. Nothing happens if I black it out. Let's shine a light on it. Nothing happens if I shine a light on it. So it doesn't give a shit. Which means I probably did something wrong or I overheated something or something, but it just, I think it's supposed to only turn on if the light comes on. Oh. Maybe it's just gonna make that sound forever.
All right. So, for shits and giggles, because we're nerds, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a nice, clean audio sample of this. I want you to sample it and do something cool with it. I don't care what. I don't, I don't care what you do with this, but sample this. Do anything you want. Make something cool. Let's just have some fun and make some cool shit and put it on the internet. So there you go. That is the Velamin Electronic Cricket. It's kit Mark 104. The electronic cricket. It's not as lame as I thought it'd be. I thought this was going to be pretty lame, but that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I might take this out, the, the LDR, and replace that with just a switch and see what happens, because I'm kind of curious. Clearly, I fucked something up. And 20 people are going to comment and tell me exactly what I fucked up, which is really cool because I didn't see it, but maybe you did. Thank you guys for hanging out. And let me know what you think about the whole affiliate link idea because I'm really good at knowing, hey, this tool is good, this tool is shit, and I have fucking opinions. And I'm totally cool doing absolutely honest tool reviews, but I can't do that if people are paying me to do it. Unless they're one, like, if they'll put it in writing that I can do a review on your tool and tell people it fucking sucks, then cool. But outside of that, no. But affiliate links are cool because that's just me. It's like, hey, this is good. I use this. I like this. I bought it with my own money. And maybe you'll like it and just put it as an Amazon affiliate link. And then I'm not, I'm not being sponsored by anybody but you, which is pretty cool. So I like that idea. We'll work it out. But first I have to learn about affiliate links. So teach me. Thank you guys, you have fun, and as always, I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, Kraftwerk would have had a fucking field day with that. I'll get you. A, I'll get you a little higher frequency sample. I really want Adam Neely to do some fucking cool ass bass and jazz shit with this. Adam Neely doesn't know who the fuck I am, but I'm a fan of his and he's cool. So, yeah, Adam Neely, if you ever see this, bass. <clears throat> Turn that the fuck off. What is that? What is this? This is a mating device for a cricket. If, uh, if you want to get crickets to come to your garden, you put this out and it sings the siren song that makes the hot, hot, sexy times happen for crickets. All right, I'm going to take a break and let cameras cool down and we'll be back later on. Thank you, everyone.